You're watching 360 Rumors, my name is Mick. This video has two purposes. First, we're going to learn how to stitch uh, the Garmin Verb 360 to get the full 5.7K resolution. Second, we're going to learn how to use a stitching software called Mystica VR, a powerful stitching software that uses optical flow stitching. So before we start, I wanted to show you first a 4K 360 video stitched in camera from the Garmin Verb 360. The Verb's in-camera stitching is one of its key features and it's very convenient but in-camera stitching that uses template-based stitching can only stitch perfectly at one distance. Anything closer or farther than that will have a stitching error and that's where optical flow stitching comes in through software such as Mystica VR. In this case, I've made another version of this video that uses unstitched videos from the Garmin Verb 360 that gives us two benefits. First, it allows us to restitch the video more smoothly. We're also going to be able to do it at 5.7K resolution. So now I'm going to launch Mystica VR. In the project manager screen, you right click and then select a new project to create a new project. You should also specify the resolution and frame rate that you want. Now this is the main screen. You right click on this panel um, to add uh, videos which are called cameras. So we add a camera and then select the videos that we're going to combine and stitch. Here are the two files that I want to stitch together. I'm going to select them and I'm going to drag them to the main screen of Mystica. The easiest way to use Mystica is to use presets. There are many available. So you right click on this panel and select load preset. There is a preset that works for the Verb360, which is for the Kodak SP360 4K Dual Pro. When the preset is applied, you can see it looks reasonably good. Now let's test the stitch. When we play the video, we can see that the default stitching is not perfect. So let's fix that. Under Position, you select Improve Alignment and this is going to realign the stitching. Now let's test the stitching again. Notice that as I'm crossing the stitch line, the stitching remains smooth and this is not just at one distance but at multiple distances. That's the benefit of optical flow stitching. Now we're ready to render. To render, uh, we're going to have to select the range that we're going to render so we drag this marker to the beginning of the range and then we click on the in marker then we drag the marker to the end of the range and then we click on the out marker after defining the range the next step is to def to specify the audio soundtrack that we're going to use in this case i used the soundtrack from the uh, first uh, video now we go to file and then export and on the next screen, we click on Current Shot, and then we specify the uh, format and the bitrate and other settings. Um, in this case, I'm clicking Config and then selecting a bitrate of 100 Mbps. For audio, click In Movie to render the audio as part of the video, and then we specify the um, file name and destination. I also check the spatial media metadata um, and then we click on export. Before uploading to YouTube, we need to use the YouTube metadata injector tool. So I've now uploaded the video to uh, YouTube. Let's check it out. Uh, first of all, the resolution is uh, up to 5.7K, uh, but we're going to play it at 4K just because YouTube cannot play above 4k um, smoothly so i'm gonna press uh, i'm gonna i'm selecting 4k and you know, press play as, as you can see i was able to cross the stitch line and it 
um, at various distances and it's smooth. I hope you found this demo of uh, Mystica um, helpful. This is just a very basic demo of, uh, of Mystica. It has many more capabilities that I haven't demonstrated. You may also be interested in the um, demo by uh, Hugh Ho of Creator Up. He did the demo uh, using the Insta360 Pro. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. For more information on 360 cameras and 360 camera accessories, please subscribe. Thanks very much.